what's up everybody welcome back to the channel hope everybody having a good day all right man so today we got our next game we got our home game against Ole Miss this is a big game very big game uh, we're coming off a uh, 10 to 7 loss to the number three team in the country which was Auburn um, we had a lot of mishaps a lot of drop balls but we had opportunities to put that game away and we didn't we had a key fumble in the last couple of minutes in the fourth quarter that gave Auburn the edge and it was just it was just bad man but anyway all right here we go so um let's check out recruiting I know we got some recruits coming in uh, Jeremiah Thompson um, this is a quarterback I started recruiting him late in the season so uh, it is what it is if he signed if he don't but uh, his high school coach is a little worried about his college potential so I don't know what that means just yet but looking at his arm strength and uh, throw accuracy it's a B and C's plus respectively so um but his potential and discipline is average so uh, I can't complain right there um this wide receiver right here Donovan Lester um he is scheduled to come in during the old miss game but he wants his lucky jersey number which is 35 so i'm pretty sure him getting that will um potentially be the yes or no in him signing with us um so uh we'll give him that we'll agree to it um we got another wide receiver, uh, Brian Jones. He coming in now, so he's six feet, two hundred and three pounds. So that's a big body. Um, he's also scheduled to come in during the Vanderbilt game. So for this big matchup, uh, one more thing, real quick, before we get into the game, let's look at the uh, top twenty-five real quick. Uh, let's look at the BCS rankings. Nah, we ain't gonna look at that. Top twenty-five is as follows we got georgia they're just coming off a big game against uh, florida texas auburn clemson washington usc miami ohio state alabama utah penn state man they was the number 14 last week something happened oklahoma florida state wisconsin pittsburgh ucf lsu Man, these teams winning, but they dropping. Whatever. All right, we got TCU, Michigan State, Notre Dame, West Virginia, Florida, Wake Forest, Michigan, and Maryland. That is your top 25. The Vanderbilt Commodores will be kicking off to start the game.
first and 10. Ball on the 29 yard line. Number 12, the ball carrier. Nine yard loss on the play. Second and long. Ball on the 20 yard line. Number 12 with the carry. Gain of four on the play. Third and 15. Ball on the 24 yard line. The pass falls incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth and 15. Ball on the 24 yard line. Number four on the reception, 11 yard gain on the play. Timeout called by the offense. First and 10. The field goal attempt is good. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap this one up. The final is 36-22. Yeah, we let Mississippi score a garbage touchdown at the end, but it's all good. All right, man, let's hop into it. Let's go into the game stats. We had, um, whoops. That wasn't good. Anyway, the mic fell. <laughs> but anyway, um, we had 18 first downs, 298 total yards offense. Um, 36 rushing yards out of 26 attempts. We went 18 for 24 for four touchdowns. 262 passing yards. We were sacked three times, which ain't good. We went three for seven for 42% on third downs, which ain't good either. Turnovers, we had two costly fumbles that, you know, I mean, it is what it is with the contact, but man. It's just bad, man. Uh, we held Mississippi State uh, on third down conversion, two for six for 33%. We sacked them four times. Uh, the passing defense, we held them to uh, 170 yards in the secondary, which is pretty good because uh, Ole Miss still had Shea Patterson on the team, so he wasn't a bad quarterback. So he did light us up when he had the chance. So, um... 
he completed uh he went seven for 16 for two touchdowns rushing we held him to negative 17 and uh they had 153 total yards on offense all right man so we hopping into the individual stats uh, Jacob Free had a 213.4 QB rating, 18 for 24, 262 yards, four picks and one, I meant four TDs and one pick. Not bad, not bad at all. Rushing, uh, Blazer game, he had 16 attempts for 62 yards. He averaged 3.8 yards a carry. Receiving, Tennyson had five, Pierce Liscom, they had four apiece. Uh, Blaze again, he had three again. Um, I'm trying to involve the running backs in the backfield in the passing game. So, um, the Auburn game, yeah, that was the first game back. So, um, <laughs> you know, I had to get back in the swing of things on the offensive side of the ball. But uh, we spread it around pretty good this game. Winrow, he had a couple key drops that I didn't like, man. And it didn't even register that drop, but he had it. Um, defense, uh, Espinosa, man, he up to 16 helmet stickers, y'all. Uh, he had six tackles, three for a loss, three sacks. Josh Smith, he had four tackles, two for a loss, one sack. Freeman, McElwain, and Tennyson, they had three and two respectively. So um, it is what it is. For my old Miss fans, we'll check out y'all side of the game. Shea Patterson. 161.8 QB rating, 7 for 16, 170 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. Uh, Russian, Adrian Barber, um, one attempt for three yards. That ain't nothing. That ain't good. Uh, passing is right here. Barber and Nixon had two. Brown, Cooley, and uh, Wilkins had one. Pancakes, though. See, man. Our old line, it ain't trash, but it ain't good. Cause look, man, this team was registering pancakes like it wasn't nothing like that. I hop. But anyway, man, defense. The Hart Philly had seven tackles, one for a loss, one pick. More than Wiley, they had five tackles apiece. Gates and Webster had four. So um, that's gonna wrap this one up. Once again, the final 36-22. We notch our third uh, SEC conference win. Um, so, uh, till next time, peace.